Sri Jitavala songs by Srila Visvanatha Kakravarti song 1 text 1 O Lord Krishna Ketanya, Gauranga, Visvamhara, Sri Sasinandana, O Ocean of Ecstatic Love, O Hari, Krishna, Gopala, Govinda, O Son of Nanda, O Life Friend of the Vrajagopis, Glory to You. Song 2 text 1 Please mercifully make me drink the nectar of ecstatic love. Please make me serve you in many ways. Text 2 O Sri Govinda, O Lord more handsome than Kamadeva, O Master of the Gopis, O Sri Krishna, O Hari, O Lord whose pastimes the people of Braja glorify in song. Text 3 Please allow me to see the glory of your nectar sweet sidelong glance. Please reveal to me your qualities, forms, and pastimes. Text 4 O Radha, O Beloved, of Lord Hari, O Goddess who enjoy pastimes in the forest groves of Vrindavana, please bring me to your lotus feet. O Beautiful One, please accept me. Song 3, Raghakanada, Text 1 O Daughter of King Prasabhanu, O Lotus-eyed Goddess who are the great treasure of my eyes, I bow down before you. Text 2 O Goddess whose glistening mirror toenails defeat many millions of nectar moons. O Goddess who charm the Kakura bird of Lord Krishna's heart. Text 3 O Goddess whose graceful beauty is praised by Lakshmi Devi. O Goddess whom Lalita and the other gopis decorate with Yavaka. Text 4 O Goddess who serves Lord Krishna. O Goddess whose heart is decorated with thoughts of Lord Krishna. O Goddess learned in the art of sweet dancing in the Raza pastimes. Song 4, Ragatuti, text 1 here, to this beautiful forest grove graceful with Kurubaka flowers and beautiful Gunja berries. Text 2 Please bring the saintly girl whose deep virtues have no equal in the three worlds. Text 3 Please take my words seriously. Please lead me across the great ocean of amorous desires. Text 4 I take shelter of you. Please do what I ask without delay. Text 5 Hearing Lord Krishna's words, the very intelligent gopi at once departed. Text 6 In a secluded place by a lake, that gopi told Radha of Lord Krishna's great anguish. Text 7 She said to Radha, O oh friend, you reside always in Krishna's heart. O oh inconsiderate one, why do you set him on fire in this way? Text 8 Please go to him now. Show him limitless love and splendor and bliss. Cool the fires that burn in him. Text 9 Please make Krishna's loving words a delicate samana flower resting on your ear. Song 5, Kedararaga, Text 1, Refrain, O beautiful one, please reveal your true nature at once. O magician of amorous pastimes. Cast a spell and attract he who is full of virtues. Text 2 Leaving his own palace, where glorious goddess Lakshmi enjoys pastimes, he now enjoys pastimes on the hills, in the caves, in the valleys, in the forests, and on the banks of the rivers and lakes. Text 3 He rules over the kingdom of love for you. Why would he hate you for no reason? How many times does Kamadeva, gripping his bow, attack him with arrows? Text 4 O beautiful one, O passionate one, O abode of love for Lord Harry, O splendid one, if you wish to save his life, Please go at once to your beloved, who is the home of all virtues a passionate lover can posses. Song 6, Bharati Raga, text 1 with half a smile in her crooked mouth, Radha says, don't hit me. Let go of the edge of my clothing. With his powerful arms Krishna pulls her to him. Text 2, refrain, O oh friend, look at the two crowns of they who know how to taste nectar, Two crowns that enjoy many different kinds of amorous pastimes, two crowns that give the best happiness the eyes can enjoy. Text 3 The fearsome, always bending archer's bows of her restless eyebrows again and again shooting sharp reddened arrows from the corners of her eyes, Radha, who is expert at tasting the nectar of embraces, again and again rebukes her beloved. Text 4 Beloved, please don't touch me with your lips, lips that are supremely pure, lips again and again tasted by the girls of Braja. As she speaks these words, Radha kisses Krishna's cheeks. Text 5 Please stop. You have broken my chastity. You have got what you wanted. Speaking these words, Radha angrily bit her beloved Krishna's lip. Song 7 
Text won her delicate limbs sweetly embarsed by Krishna's arms, with glistening and playful eyes, Radha gazes at the splendid moon of Krishna's face. Text 2 resting on the bed of amorous pastimes, graceful and playful Radha gently smiled. Text 3 Many times she tightly embraced her beloved. Many times he placed the sharp elephant goads of his fingernails on her waterpot breasts. Text 4 Her peacefulness and shyness broken by Kamadeva's arrows, she became plunged in the nectar ocean of love. Text 5 She passionately drank the nectar of her beloved's lips. Her body was flooded with perspiration. Text 6 Her bracelets and other ornaments sweetly tinkled. Her body's fragrance was like a host of flowers that attracts swarms of bumblebees. Text 7 Her body was like a newly blossomed lotus flower anointed with musk. Disheveled hair surrounded her perspiring face. Text 8 In this way her sweetness bore its fruit. Radha is most expert at enjoying nectar pastimes with her charming lover. Song 8, Daksanaraga, Text 1, Refrain, O Krishna, O Son of Nanda, O Lord whose dark face is graceful with a gentle smile, glory to you. Text 2 O Lord splendid with a cow stub hajul and with bracelets, armlets, and many tinkling ornaments. Text 3 O Krishna, O Lord whose feet rebuke the lotus flowers. O Lord who walks home on the winding path in the forest. O Lord whose glistening jewel mirror toenails defeat millions of moons and punish the great darkness. Text 4 O Krishna, O Lord whose hands and feet bear graceful auspicious marks. O Lord who walks like a graceful intoxicated elephant. O Lord the end of whose great flower garland is kissed by your sweetly tinkling anklets. Text 5 O Krishna, O Lord who wears glistening golden garments, O Lord whose jewel belt dances with always sweet gracefulness, O Lord whose abdomen has three graceful folds of skin by the shore your navel lake. Text 6 O Krishna decorated with a splendid jasmine garland, O Lord whose abdomen is splendid and graceful, O Lord whose chest bears by Tergamuni's footprint and goddess Lakshmi's mark. Text 7 O Krishna whose arms are broad, O Lord whose graceful pastimes are eternally new and fresh, O lotus-eyed hero who pushes Sri Radha into an ocean of bliss. Text 8 O Krishna, O Lord who wears graceful earrings, O Lord whose hair rebukes the splendid blue lotus flowers, O Lord whose forehead is splendid with tilaka, O Lord whose nose and teeth are splendid and graceful. Text 9 O Krishna, O Lord who gracefully plays the flute, O Lord who wears a splendid peacock feather crown, O Lord whose splendor defeats a host of blue lotus flowers, O Lord whose ever new handsomeness defeats the sapphires. Text 10 O Krishna, O Lord expert and graceful in the Raza dance, O Lord who enjoys sweet pastimes eternally, O Lord whose graceful teeth and garments bear the marks of the gopis black mascara. Song 9, Sri Raghavihagata, Text 1 O Radha. O Krishna. O Radha. O Chamring Lord. O Bliss of Gokula. O splendid moon shining in Vrindavana forest. O flutist. O killer of Madhu. O husband of goddess Lakshmi. O master of the gopis. O giver of liberation. O, o treasure of graceful pastimes. O lord who enjoys pastimes in the forest. O lifter of Govardhana hill. O source of all bliss. Song 10 text 1 O Sri Radha, O flag of sweetness. Glory to you. O daughter of Vrsabhanu, glory to you. Text 2 O full moon that delight the lotus flowers that are your friends headed by Lalita. O goddess whose sweet form, qualities, and beauty are flooded with the nectar of pure love, please accept me as one of your associates. Song 11 Text 1 O son of Nanda, O Krishna, O Govinda, please place your glance of mercy on me. With the nectar of your gentle smile please restore my life. Text 2 O Lord splendid in yellow garments, O Lord whose form is graceful like an ever new blue lotus flower, O crown of the gopas, O all-powerful one, please appear in my heart. Text 3 O dear Lord, please accept me. Sri Guru Karanas Maranas take eight meditations on the feet of the spiritual master by Srila Visvanatha Kakravarti Text 1 falling to the ground. I offer my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master, Sri Radharamana Gosvami, who every morning bows down before Tulasi Devi, 
with his own hands anoints her base, sitting before her meditates on the feet of his two masters, and then gathers flowers to serve his masters. Text 2 Falling to the ground, I offer my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master, Sri Radharamana Gosvami, who at midday meditates on the lotus feet of his two masters, worships them, offers food to them, circumambulates them, offers prayers to them, loves them, and dances before them. He associates with the devotees, and in their company regularly tastes the nectar of Sramad Bhagavatam. Text 3 Falling to the ground, I offer my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master, Sri Radharamana Gosvami, who as the evening approaches washes his master's feet, bows down before him, and offers prayers. From the forest he goes to Vraja to see his master. Gazing at his master, for a long time his eyes are flooded with tears of bliss. Text for falling to the ground, I offer my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master, Sri Radharamana Gosvami, who, surrounded by the devotees, in the evening sometimes relishes the nectar of Sri Jayadeva songs and sometimes dances in Sankirtana. Sometimes, directly seeing Sri Sri Radhakrishna's pastimes, he does not sleep at night. Text 5 Falling to the ground, I offer my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master, Sri Radharamana Gosvami, who never allows the two syllables Ninda, one criticize him, enter his ears, who day after day tastes with his tongue the nectar of praising other devotees, and who believes in others' goodness and never believes others have done wrong. Text 6 Falling to the ground, I offer my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master, Sri Radharamana Gosvami, who accepts every sincere soul that who falls down to offer obeisances at his feet. He mercifully engages them all in devotional service. To his disciples he regularly teaches the confidential truths of devotional service. Text 7 Falling to the ground, I offer my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master, Sri Radharamana Gosvami, who mercifully places his feet on the heads of his disciples as they offer Dandavat obeisances. With his graceful smiling glance of mercy he creates in his disciples' hearts renunciation of material desires. By his instructions and by service to his feet he makes pure love for Lord Krishna rise within his disciples. Text 8 Falling to the ground, I offer my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master, Sri Radharamana Gosvami, who, drawing out the words, Radha, Krishna, made the nectar names of his two masters dance on his tongue. He did not know anything of material activities, for he was always plunged in the nectar of spiritual love. Text 9 O my master, O rising ocean of mercy, these eight verses show a tiny atomic particle of the nectar of your feet. O master, pray that the bumblebee of my heart, staying always in your company, will become attracted by the fragrance of your two masters in the beautiful forest groves of Vraja. Sri Paramaguru Prabhuvarastaka 8 Prayers Glorifying the Paramaguru by Srila Visvanatha Kakravarti Text May 1st Sri Krishnakarana Prabhu show me the nectar of his feet. With the peerless shower of mercy that rains from his eyes he extinguishes the flames of material life that torment the surrendered souls. Then he shows these souls how to swim in clear lake of pure devotional service. Text May 2nd Sri Krishnakarana Prabhu show me the nectar of his feet. The glorious words that come from his mouth are famous in the land of Braja. Renouncing wife, children, and home, he lives in a small hut by the Yamuna's shore. Text May 3rd Sri Krishnakarana Prabhu show me the nectar of his feet. Without hearing his glorious teachings, who can understand the ecstatic love felt by the lotus-eyed girls of Braja, who can follow in their footsteps, who can understand true devotional service, and who can become qualified to engage in devotional service. Text May 4th Sri Krishnakarana Prabhu show me the nectar of his feet. As the sun shines in the darkness, he shines, splendid with the power of devotional service, in the assembly of ascetics, Saniya Sis, Karmas, and logicians, each proudly proclaiming the glory of his own theory. Text May 5th Sri Krishnakarana Prabhu show me the nectar of his feet. Thinking, how are Radha and Krishna dressed and decorated now? What pastime does Sri Krishna, who is plunged in glory greater than that of millions of Kamadevas, enjoy now with Sri Radha, 
he always passes the eight hours of the day and night wrapped in devotional service to his worshipable Lord. Text May 6 Sri Krishnakarana Prabhu show me the nectar of his feet. In the midst of the sweet kirtana sung with Merdanges and Karatalas, he personally dances and he encourages the saintly devotees to dance also. He plunges into the ocean of bliss. The hairs of his body stand erect. He bathes in the tears that flow from his eyes. Text May 7 Sri Krishnakarana Prabhu show me the nectar of his feet. With the devotees of the Lord again and again he discusses the rasas described in the best scriptures of devotional service. He teaches his associates how to taste the sweetness in the descriptions of the rasas. Surrounded by hundreds of disciples, he is glorious with the title Kakravarti. Text May 8 Sri Krishnakarana Prabhu show me the nectar of his feet. His home is by the Ganga's bank. His life and soul is Lord Krishna, who is more charming than Kamadeva. His desire is to associate with the Razaka devotees. His talent rests in delivering the conditioned souls. His compassion is directed to the materialists. His forgiveness is directed to his followers. Text 9 Anyone who reads these eight verses glorifying the best of masters will become full of love for the playful divine couple. His heart will become fixed on worshipping their lotus feet. He will attain the mercy of the playful divine couple. Very soon he will directly serve the divine couple, who rule the forests of Braja. Sri Ganganeri and Ada Vastaka 8 Prayers Glorifying Sri Ganganeri and Ada Vabhisrila Visvanatha Kakravarti Text May 1st Sri Ganganarayana Kakravarti, who is a nectar ocean of spiritual love, be merciful to me. As the Ganga herself delivers them, he yearns to deliver the karmas wrapped in family life. Text May 2nd Sri Ganganarayana Kakravarti, who is a nectar ocean of spiritual love, be merciful to me. Srila Narada Madasa Thakura, who was an incarnation of pure devotional service, happily gave his own powers to Sri Ganganarayana. Text May 3rd Sri Ganganarayana Kakravarti, who is a nectar ocean of spiritual love, be merciful to me. Even today his glories are sung in the assemblies of devotees in Vrindavana. Text May 4th Sri Ganganarayana Kakravarti, who is a nectar ocean of spiritual love, be merciful to me. Proving from scripture that the original form of the Lord is termed Lord Govinda, he stopped the calamity that was about to fall on the devotees. Text May 5th Sri Ganganarayana Kakravarti, who is a nectar ocean of spiritual love, be merciful to me. His character was saintly. He was decorated by the jewels of many virtues. He was like a sun god brilliant with the light of great learning. Text May 6th Sri Ganganarayana Kakravarti, who is a nectar ocean of spiritual love, be merciful to me. Mercifully glancing on the soul surrendered to him, he gave them all shelter at his feet. Text May 7th Sri Ganganarayana Kakravarti, who is a nectar ocean of spiritual love, be merciful to me. Lord Caitanya personally made him fixed in devotional service, which is the most glorious thing in the world. Text May 8th Sri Ganganarayana Kakravarti, who is a nectar ocean of spiritual love, be merciful to me. He taught the confidential devotional service performed by the residents of Braja. Without understanding that service no one can attain perfection. Text 9 A person who has faith in his feet and who with a single heart reads these eight prayers glorifying Sri Ganganarayana Kakravarti, who is a nectar ocean of spiritual love, will become his associate in the spiritual world.